Welcome to episode four of DMing the most famous person in every country in the world. A show where we learn about different places and the celebrities that live there. Oh my God. I wrote to her, your body is very pretty. And she said, hello, thank you very much. If you guys like the show, make sure to hit subscribe and the notification bell so you never miss an episode. Also hit like, if this gets 15,000 likes, I'll keep making them. And finally, make sure to follow me on Instagram so that I can get verified, more people respond to me and the show becomes more interesting. I've gotten rejected by Instagram twice, so please help me out. Okay, that's pretty much all I need you guys to do. So now sit back, relax and enjoy the show. Last week, I DM people from countries starting with the letter C, and even though I'm not verified, I got an insane amount of responses. I've been documenting it throughout the week, so here's some of the footage. Okay, so I just released episode three, and immediately, within an hour, I get a DM from Danielle Chavez, the girl from Chile. I used her in the thumbnail, and she's got 12 million followers. She was the biggest person in that video. Oh my God. I wrote to her, your body is very pretty, and she said, hello, thank you very much. Smiley face. Thank you. Would love to make a video with you. Okay guys, I have an update. Lamorne from New Girl just responded. Lamorne Norris, an actor on New Girl, told me he's not from Belgium, but hasn't been responding to any of my other messages, which makes me wonder why he responded to the Belgium question. He said he has no connection to Belgium, but I'm starting to wonder if he's trying to cover something up. Maybe he's famous for something bad in Belgium. Did you do something? bad in Belgium. I'm gonna read the message. I really hope he doesn't come out to me and tell me that he murdered somebody in Belgium and he, he's gonna pay me millions of dollars to keep quiet because then I'm gonna have to decide whether or not I wanna release this footage or not. Dude, you're hilarious. I'm getting all these creepy messages about what I did in Belgium. I was so lost, but then someone told me it was from you. I'm dying, bro. <laughs> you guys messaged him? That's crazy. That is the power, the power that you guys have, but let's not get too excited just yet. This might be a tactic. He's saying, yo, you're so funny, haha, ha, what a good joke. And then we're all gonna think it's a joke, but what if it's not? Ha 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 ha, I gotta get on his side, gotta get him to like me, you know? Ease him in a little bit, then bam, pop the question again. Can't believe people actually messaged you. He said tons of messages, lol. As soon as we solve the Belgium case, I'm sure they'll get over it. Just need to make sure your Belgium record is clean. <laughs> yeah, it's clean. I called Belgium. They assured me I've never been there. <laughs> Have you actually never even been there? That's crazy. Dude, once the world gets back to normal, let's go to Belgium. I can't believe I'm having a full-blown conversation with Lamorne Morris from New Girl. Oh my God, he said it's a must, lol. It's on camera, Lamorne, that's it. You can't say no, we're going. If you don't go to Belgium, well then, case reopens because why don't you want to go to Belgium? What did you do in Belgium? I have big news. Big news, tell me big Drum news. Drum roll. Drum roll, tell me. Drum roll. Boo, 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 boo. Tell me. The most famous guy from Curacao just responded to me. Okay, and? The, he's the most famous guy in Curacao. Okay, so are we done? No. Love you. What? How do you not care? What? Mom. I have things to do. No. I'm excited. That's all that matters. I wrote, you're the most famous person in Curacao. Congrats. Keep crushing it. He sent me a praying emoji. We're going to Curacao, baby. I'm doing a show where I learn about the most famous people in every country in the world. And I'd love to do an episode about you once everything gets back to normal. Hopefully he responds. I get to play some baseball with this guy and just learn more about his life. I didn't realize this guy plays for the New York Yankees. There's a few people I still haven't gotten a chance to respond to, so I'm gonna check that out right now. All right, so the girl from Cook Islands responded. Let me see. I wrote, let's go to Cook Islands just for fun. She said, okay, let's go to the Cook Islands just for fun. Oh, come on, that's not creative at all. She just copied my message. Okay, let's go to the Cook Islands just for fun. Let's see how long we can have the same message going just over and over again. Yes, baby, we got the guy from Czech Republic. I think he was on like a Czech Republic American Idol or something, let me see. I wrote to him, I'm a huge fan from America. I would love to come visit your set and learn more about you. He said, hi, I've seen your video. What am I supposed to do? Just be yourself, honey. No, okay, stop. Why am I talking to him like uh, I'm Oprah? I wanna learn more about you and your country. Okay, so those are all the messages from this week. Also wanted to let you know, I'm still in touch with everybody from previous episodes and I'm currently planning to travel to those countries and spend a day with those celebrities. 
First country of the day is Denmark. Let's learn a little bit about it. Its capital is home to royal palaces and colorful Nyhaven Harbor, plus the Tivoli Amusement Park and the iconic Little Mermaid statue. They have a Little Mermaid statue there? Why? I'm gonna look at some images of Denmark right now and I've read your comments. I see that some of you guys get annoyed by how excited I get about countries. So uh, I'm gonna work on that. Oh my God, I'm sorry, I can't. I have to react. This is just how my body responds to these pretty images. Okay, deal with it. Wow. 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 Who's the most famous in Denmark? I'm not gonna hit up the companies, Pandora, Lego. I'm gonna hit up Christian Eriksson. Two million followers. Okay, soccer player. So many, so many athletes, man. Look at this guy's legs. Your legs are huge. Congrats, bro. If any of you guys are trying to learn how to get in contact with people through Instagram DMs, do not do what I do. This is terrible. Next country is Djibouti. Djibouti? DJ Ibodi. DJI Bowdy. Isn't DJI a type of drone? I get it. I can't pronounce these names and I suck at geography. And I know you're about to type that. You're about to stop it. Don't type it right now. Just type, I love you, Eric. You're a beautiful person and, and you make me laugh. Just type that instead. Stop it. It's a mostly French and Arabic speaking country of dry shrublands, volcanic formations, and Gulf of Aden beaches. It's home to one of the saltiest bodies of water in the world. Whoa, it's like the Dead Sea. This guy, Awalek Aden, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, is a Djibouti singer songwriter. His Instagram's got 436,000 followers. <laughs> this guy looks so happy. Oh my God, look at these parties. It's crazy. This guy clearly has a lot of followers and is very successful, but all the images, he just kind of looks like, like a bar mitzvah MC or something. <laughs> what kind of picture is this? Who is this guy? I'm fascinated. I wonder if this guy is there like Harry Styles. Your voice is amazing. Your fashion is meh. I'd love to give you a makeover. Mwah. I don't wanna like hurt his feelings. So just a little mwah. kissy emoji, I feel like solves anything that is like slightly hurtful. Next, we're moving on to Dominica. Dominica is a mountainous Caribbean island nation with natural hot springs and tropical rainforests. Morn Trois Pitons National Park is home to the volcanically heated steam covered boiling lake. What? They have a boiling lake? Oh boy. How do you not react to this? Do you realize this is on our earth? This exists? This isn't an animation? Like, like we can actually go there? Oh my goodness gracious. I, what? What? I wanna go swimming there. This looks like the island that like spy kids lived on. You, you remember that? Nobody else? Okay. No results yet again. Guys, none of these websites work well. Please comment below who I should be DMing from your country because that would help me out a lot. Dwayne Murphy, come on, Dwayne Murphy. Ah, we got him. He's only got 3000 followers. He's got an IMDb. Let's check it out. Wait, this guy works a lot. Holy moly, holy crap. And in spite of everything, I still love you. And if you want this to work, then forget that our wedding is in three weeks. Okay, I need to write a good message because I feel like I can do some cool stuff with this guy. How do I get him to respond? I'm so proud of you, son. Not only are you officially the most famous person in Dominica, but you also have an actual IMDB. I love you. The thing is when these people get a message, they see the first line. So that first line needs to be really good. So in this one, he might think I'm his father. And then he'd be like, what, what's my dad doing on Instagram and why is he white? Next, we've got Dominican Republic, another country in the Caribbean. It's known for its beaches, resorts, and golfing. This looks exactly like what I imagine the Caribbean to look like. Who's famous? Nati Natasha. Nati Natasha. She sounds like a Russian porn star. Like, say hello to Natasha. She will get very naughty with your naughty. I like to call her Naughty Natasha. I really hope she doesn't watch this video and she's like, actually, Naughty in my language means sunflower and I didn't like that you compared it to testicles. 24 million followers? Oh no, I shouldn't have made fun of her. Guys, she is Naughty. <laughs> she's gonna love this. Oh, she's a musician. She's really good. I'm Naughty too. Let's be friends. Next, oh, that's it for D countries. Not a lot of D countries. Okay, let's let's move on to E. 
East Timor is ringed by coral reefs teeming with marine life. I like can't audibly react to these places anymore because I've just, it's overload with this series. I, I, I've just been blown too hard at this point. <laughs> this is insane. Whoa, no results, come on, come on. I literally can't find anyone in East Timor. I found this girl's picture and it says she's there, so I'm just gonna hit her up. She posts a lot of pictures on islands, so I feel like she's an expert and can help me out with this series in the future, if anything, so it's a good connection. How do I get her attention? I'm lost in East Timor, please help. If she doesn't respond, honestly, that's kind of rude. Next, we've got Ecuador. Its divided landscape encompasses Amazon jungle, Andean highlands, and the wildlife-rich Galapagos Islands. Whoa. Okay, most famous person, Maui Ricky. Maui Ricky! 4.3 million followers, holy crap. It's a lot of mouth. <laughs> This guy feels like Justin Bieber, but 10 years older and from Ecuador. Look at him. It's Justin in 10 years, I'm telling you. I would like to organize a collaboration between you and Justin Bieber. What if he says yes and I just can literally promise this guy a song with Justin Bieber. Next we have Egypt. That's crazy to me that people built this. Or they didn't. Aren't there like conspiracies that aliens built it? And now there's proof of aliens? Why is nobody talking about that? I can't imagine how cool these pyramids look in person. Okay, who's the most famous person there? Tamer Hosni with 16 million followers, wow. Singer, actor, composer, songwriter, author, and producer. First Arab artist in history to get his hand and footprint in Chinese theater Hollywood. Wow, that's incredible. This guy's a stud, look at him. So built. I love this kind of music, man. I've already spent like 30 minutes just sitting here trying to think of what to write. I got it, what if I just pretend like we already made a plan? Then he's gotta, he's gotta go through with it. He's just gonna think he forgot. Sounds great. I'll let you know when I buy tickets to Egypt and we can work on the project. Very excited. <laughs> That's brilliant. I'm a freaking genius. Next we have El Salvador. Frick, man. I gotta go explore these places and hike and swim in these blue waters. Does Google just make water extra blue? Or does it really look like this in real life? Imagine hiking this. Just look at this view. No results. I got it, guys, I figured it out, jeez. If I just switch it to YouTube, then people come up. There's a guy from El Salvador with 36 million subscribers on YouTube. There we go. Look at that, 5.6 million followers. He's a YouTuber and the chances of collaboration are way higher. I think he's a gamer. Bye! Bye! I have no idea what's happening. I legit have no idea what's happening. Dude, I li this guy's energy is crazy. He's sweating? His lip is sweating. Why are you so angry? Let's do some yoga sometime. Equatorial Guinea is a central African country comprising the Rio Muni mainland and five volcanic offshore islands. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful. Someone with 1.5 million views, years and years. What? There they are. 600,000 followers. They're a band. So it has for the burn down. I love this guy so much. His smile, his voice, his energy, just so positive. Can I be your backup dancer? I'll do it for free. I'm really good. This old house would have burned down a long time ago. 
Oh. Eritrea is a Northeast African country on the Red Sea coast. It shares borders with Ethiopia, Sudan, and Djibouti, which we learned about earlier. Whoa, looks like a Hollywood set or something. Just like, these buildings don't even look real. Who's big in Eritrea? Man, after 25 minutes of searching, I found Helen Milis. She's a prominent Eritrean diva, singer, and actress. Look at this. Yes, I'm a famous actor in America. Shh, don't. She doesn't need to know that's not true, okay? Just let me work my magic. And I would love to be in one of your movies. Estonia, a country in Northern Europe, borders the Baltic Sea and Gulf of Finland, including more than 1,500 islands. What? Its diverse terrain spans rocky beaches, old growth forest, and many lakes. Formerly part of the Soviet Union, it's dotted with the castles, churches, and hilltop fortresses. Ah, uh, yes. I just love places that look like this. Okay, there's some big YouTubers there. So let me message Estoniana, let's see her. 200,000 followers, okay. YouTube channel Estoniana. Я очень люблю ваш контент и хочу с вами поработать. I just wrote to her in Russian, I really like your content and want to work with you. Last country with E is Ethiopia. Ethiopia in the Horn of Africa is a rugged, landlocked country split by the Great Rift Valley. With archaeological finds dating back more than three million years, it's a place of ancient culture. I don't even know how to write these channels. It's in a different language. Frick, they don't have an Instagram. Okay, this one. Why don't any of these people have Instagram accounts? I couldn't find anyone using the website, but after Googling the most famous person in Ethiopia, Marcus Samuelson popped up, who's a chef. And I was actually at Buzzfeed at the same time that he was there. We never actually spoke. I saw him a lot, but but I literally never interacted with him. So maybe, maybe now is the time. Congrats on being the most famous person from Ethiopia. Crazy to think I used to see you around the office. I'm starstruck. People love being flattered. Ah, <sighs> I always am so drained after doing all these countries. I I'm not even joking. Do you wanna see what time it is right now? It's 4.11 a.m. If you guys wanna stay tuned, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, hit like. If this gets 15,000 likes, I'll keep making these episodes, so please do that. Also, follow me on Instagram so I can get verified get more responses because you see I'm struggling, you see how tough it is, so follow me so I can look a little more famous for these celebrities. But I hope you guys learned something and enjoyed seeing these countries and different celebrities and also comment what celebrity you want me to DM if I missed somebody, if I made any mistakes, if you have any recommendations because I'll be reading those comments and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Oh my God, he's following me. What if he's just trying to get on my good side? I'm gonna keep investigating until I get a concrete answer.